This video is intended to train healthcare professionals and provide them with practical information on the safe and accurate use of the SD BioLine HIV Syphilis Duo Test Kit. The materials included in the kit are a test pouch, buffer, package insert, lancets, and capillary pipettes. Alcohol swabs are provided if required. These materials should be prepared before starting the test. Unopened test pouch. Assay diluent. New disposable gloves and timer are not provided but necessary. And for serum or plasma test, micro pipette and yellow tip would be prepared. Now remember, all test materials must be used immediately once opened. Let's begin the test. Check the expiry date on the back side of the test pouch. If expiry date has passed, use another kit. Put on the gloves. Remember, use new gloves for each patient. Open the test pouch and set the test device. Write the patient's identification on the device. Using a micro pipette, take 10 microliters of serum or plasma and put into the sample well. Discard the used yellow tip immediately in the sharps box. Add three drops of buffer into the sample well. One, two, three. Read the result after 15 minutes firstly for the clear interpretation. Read the result in 20 minutes. Do not read the test result after 20 minutes. Reading too late can give false results. Only one line C on result window means negative. Two lines as control line C and test line HIV within the result window indicates a positive result for HIV 1 or 2. Two lines as control line C and test line SYP within the result window indicates a positive result for syphilis. Three lines as control line C, test line HIV and test line SYP within the result window indicates a positive result for HIV 1 or 2 and syphilis. If no line appears near the letter C, conduct test again with a new test device and new disposable capillary pipette. Dispose of test materials such as test device, gloves, alcohol, swab, desiccant and packaging in a non-sharps waste container. Record the test results. Now remember, each test can be used once. Do not try to use the test more than once. If you encounter a problem with the test, please follow our troubleshooting guide. Check specimen integrity for evidence of bacteria contamination, hemolysis, and lipidic substances. Verify labeling, paperwork, and procedures. Have the same technologist retest the specimen. Repeat testing blindly by another technologist. Repeat on reference test blindly. Repeat at different laboratory or reference laboratory. Use another technology or assay to test the sample.
recheck equipment, and reagents.